What is up, y'all? It is Shave Lizard back with another ULM Warhawk Dynasty series. This is going to be, I believe, the off season. Um, we didn't have any recruiting. It's the conf conference championship week. As you see, we're four and eight. We're not going to the conference championship. Somehow, we did worse this year than we did last year. I guess we did play an extra like ranked opponent or two. Man, that Virginia Tech game as a season over opener that would have been a great game to win. Um. Not going bowling. Not going bowling. Um, oh, yep. Arkansas State down there. M. Murray. He was a Heisman contender. Yeah, we had to play against him. The running back. He was really difficult to uh, to play against. Arkansas State was ranked. I think they went undefeated. Ohio State kid won the Heisman. Not going to a bowl game. Went 4-8. Um, hopefully, we should... Get some good kids on the uh, on the roster during the off season. Um, also, we won't have Rodriguez, I believe. We won't have him next year. I think he was a senior, so we're gonna have, I believe, Rogers as a junior to so start out next season. We do get a head coach upgrade. That is handy. Um, I'm gonna put it in the opener. For next season. And, uh, yeah, end of season. Yeah, I know. I know. We can't do anything. We can't do anything. Going to the off season now. In a recruiting battle for lots of guys. Yeah, we went five and seven last year and four and eight this year. Uh we're safe in terms of security. Hope we don't get fired. We're one and four versus the top twenty five. We lost, I believe, three games versus top 25 teams this season. Yeah, we lost to Virginia Tech, LSU, and Arkansas State. We won it last year against a ranked Coastal Carolina. We're not moving to a different school. No one wants uh, No one wants us. We're really bad. We have, like, nine total wins. I'm going to turn around next season gonna do well. Who is leaving? Myrick. Bro, you can't transfer? You're gonna play in all the games. Uh, the right guard, freshman, um, Charles Myrick. He is transferring to SMU. Rasmus in the tight end. <sighs> graduating. Nick Roberts. <laughs> graduating. Jevin Fret, the receiver, graduating. Thomas, graduating. Boogie Knight, he was my favorite player. Gotta say goodbye to him, though, as he has served his four years. Jordan Riley, graduating. Zach Jackson, graduating. Rhett Rodriguez, the quarterback, graduating. Donovan Hickman, graduating. Zach Woodward, graduating. Caleb Thomas, graduating. And, oh, McCormick, he's a senior. Good for you, dude. He's graduating. Yeah, he is the punter. And we're placing him with someone who's already going to be better. I mean, thanks to all of them. Um, do we have, we probably didn't draft anyone. Yeah, no one out of ULM got drafted. Any transfer request? No. Going to the next stage. It's gonna be sad having all those guys gone, but we're gonna have some new faces. This is exciting, though. We're at 10,000 spo 10, points. Gotta spend it here. Got Chris Lamb at the strong safety. Who do we need? We need tight end. Okay. We're going to put... I'm going to say 3,000 points into Jonathan Matthews, the tight end. Three thousand points into him. I think we should get him. Um... Chris Lamb, strong safety. We need him. We need him. Yeah, the punter, Justin Horn, replacing McCormick. McCormick was a 70 overall when he was leaving. Justin Horn's a 76 overall coming in. 
So, yeah, and just from College Station, Texas, gig Um, Chris Lamb, bro, I really need you on my squad. You're a plus five overall. We're putting five grand into you. Come on, hurry, hurry up, thing. There we go. I'm gonna put 5k into you. Actually, I'll put 4, 4k. Nah, I'll, I'll just do... We really need him. I'm putting in 4k. I'll put 3... Mm, we need the points. I'll put 395. I'm gonna go and look by positions now. We got... Hopefully, we got him. Centers, defensive ends. JT Singleton. Got a, kind of a lead on him. He's someone that I might put points into. Who, into. Adam Smith. Only down by a little bit on him, but we did sign Curtis Stewart. You a Juco? No, you're not a Juco kid. Okay. Corner. Jacob Berg. Got a good lead on him. Okay, what I think I'm going to do... Got, got Jacob Berg over here. Got 3,500. I'm going to put... Uh, I'm going to put... Let's see, Jacob Berg got a 1,000 point lead on. I'm going to put like 1... Or 1,600 into him. And then d the defensive end, JT Singleton, we're getting that many points. Hopefully, that's enough to secure him. But that's all of our points spent. Can we get them all? We got four different guys we got points into. We should have four kids signing at least. No! Chris Lamb going to App State and Jacob Berg going to Wisconsin. We didn't get any. We got Jonathan Matthews. Uh, we. Mm, we really needed those positions. We were, we were in it. Marcus McKeon and Jonathan Matthews are the only kids we walk away with. We had potential to have a really good class. What is our class ranked? 109th. So I'm 19 of prospects at three or eight three stars, nine at two stars, and two one stars. Tarun Pope, what are you doing? Chris Lamb, oh, we're only down by 1570. And JT Singleton, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Unlucky. We walk away with 19 new kids, though. It would have been really handy to have those uh, big, uh, big signs on our board. Position changes. Did we sign? I don't think we signed any athletes. No, we didn't sign any athletes. Just leave it how it is. Advance to the next stage. Mm. Trending results. Who is our best player? A shot at Clayton? The junior? Ooh, over Phillips by two overall. Junior. Phillips is a senior, though. What about, uh, what's his name? Henry. Henry's a senior also. Mmm. Got a, got a lot of kids on the board. Training results. Uh, our best quarterback now a 78 overall is Rogers, the junior. Wow, <laughs> we started him as a true freshman. He's already a junior. We got a lot of running backs. We got a junior, a retro senior, a senior, a sophomore, and a freshman. Clayton's a 90 overall though. We're just gonna run through some kids. Morris over here, <laughs> freshman, redshirt. But Mason, Quentin Mason, is the sophomore. Our best right wide receiver now is Bloomfield, who's a senior. Malik Jackson, the senior. K K Kahai Matthew, junior. 
Brandon Hayes, the sophomore. D Darian, D Darian w Wiley, Jr. And Sean Kendrick, the freshman. Greg Alford, the sophomore tight end now. Willie Tyler, Sr. Oh, we got an 87 overall left tackle. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Um, center. Center's a junior. Our defense isn't looking too bad. Eighty seven overall strong safety. And our kicker is Joel Baker. Eighty at three overall sophomore now. And our oh no data no dit no data for punter. Um did they just not show up there? I guess. I don't know. We finally have a full roster. That's kinda crazy. We signed two at freshman. Yeah, you're gone. Bye. Okay, it gets kind of crazy in running back land. I, I think we could retro at Henry, but that means he would be competing with Clayton. I don't want to cut Henry. I think he could be here. Uh, I'm not going to cut anyone better than him. Henry, I just don't think you're going to get any playing time. I'm not cutting him from the team. No, I'm I'm gonna leave my running backs. See how they do. Why is Morris at forty two overall? You're gone. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um let's see. We have two freshmen at right guards. Um Got a freshman D tackle, 63 overall. Reggie Haynes. Oh boy, you are bad. Ooh, that was, that was pretty miserable. Two freshman cornerbacks. This kid's a sophomore. You are off the team. You've been outplayed. This guy's a senior and he's. I'm going to let you play your last year, buddy. Mm, got to cut three more kids. Freshman, senior. We need to keep Philip Sanders on the team. Going to have to cut someone. I'm cutting Henry. I already did it. Norman's going to have a few years to develop. Did we cut a receiver? Junior, junior, sophomore, junior, senior, senior. We're going to have so many kids that we have to replace. I just don't see this team getting much better in the future. We have a lot of right guards. I'm going to cut bridges. Right tackle. Left end. Oh, that's all the kids we need to cut. Perfect. I hate ruin ruining video game characters' lives. So so terrible. We need to be good this year. Ugh. Okay. I might have talked about this just a little bit, but y'all, it's gonna get kind of funky in here. So, you see, it's 2014. I'm going to pretend like it's 10 seasons ahead. Going in the 2024 season. So, we've played the last couple. It's been regular conferences. But now, it's conference realignment. Texas and OU are going to the SEC. Let me make sure I didn't already do this. Hold up. SEC. Nah, nah. Texas and OU aren't here. Cool. So, once Texas and OU move, all sorts of things happen. So, I am going to change the conferences to the 2024 football conferences, and I'll be right back to go over them all. 
All right, y'all. So we have our new er, conferences realignment for the 2024 season. Nothing different happened in the ACC. In the American, um, we got the East and the West. Charlotte, FAU, Navy, USF, Temple, Memphis, and ECU in the East. And in the West, we have UNT, SMU, Tulsa, UTSA, UAB, Tulane, and Rice. In the Big 12, we now have Cincinnati, BYU, Houston, and UCF down there. Actually, hold up. Let me uh, set the different divisions. Give me a sec. Alright, I fixed it. So in the West, now we have Baylor, TCU, BYU, Texas Tech, OSU, and K State. In the East, we got Iowa State, Houston, Kansas, Cincinnati, UCF, and West Virginia. The East was kind of difficult to come up with. West Virginia, UCF, and Cincinnati, definitely over there. Um, I think Houston is the most East of the Texas teams here, and Kansas is, I believe, farther East than Kansas State. So put them over there. Big Ten, no changes. Conference USA, sorry, you got five teams. I didn't code in any um, FCS teams that are moving up, and there are a lot of those. Um, every team that's moving into the Conference USA was either A, an FCS team that's moving up, or B, a uh, team that is not in revamped already um i i just took what i had and try how is mtsu rated 14 no idea um no changes or no additions to the conference usa because they were all teams that weren't here or fcs teams in the independence we took out byu because they had to go to the big 12 no changes in the mac or the mountain west or the pac-12 sec I put Bama and Auburn in the east and put OU and uh, and then I have OU, Texas, and Missouri in the west. So this is what our uh, conferences are looking like now. The uh, east is, uh, I, I want to say better than the west, but the west currently has three top 20 teams and the, uh, the east has three top five teams. Okay, okay, y'all can just battle it out over there. Beat up on Vandy some more. Or don't, they're kind of kind of sad. This is pretty important, though. The Sun Belt Conference has added teams, and we now have two divisions. In the East, we have Appalachian State, Coastal Carolina, Georgia Southern, Georgia State, Marshall, Old Dominion, and South Alabama. In the West, we have Arkansas State, Louisiana, Southern Miss, Texas State, Troy, and your ULM Warhawks. This is just kind of how I do edit it up. I believe that Upstate and Coastal are in the Carolinas. I know the Coastal's in the Carolinas. Upstate's like on the border between Carolina and Virginia. And I think Marshall's in Virginia and Old Dominion. And Georgia Southern and Georgia State were kind of over there. Um, I didn't really... I didn't check South Alabama and Troy to see who was farther east. Um, actually, I'll I'll do that because why not? All right, so I fixed it. Um, did some research. Troy's in Troy, Alabama, and South Alabama is in Mobile, and Troy is farther east than Mobile, so Troy is going in the east side of the Sun Belt. So that is that. Um. We can't select projected rivals. Um, we have any weekday games. Uh, week one, we start conference championship games. Um, or we start conference games. There we go. So I am putting the conference championship game at um, Falcons Stadium, Mercedes Benz Stadium, I think. The Peach Bowl is there. It doesn't say Mercedes-Benz Stadium anywhere, but the Peach Bowl's at Merck-Benz Stadium. Yeah, see, it says Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. It's in Georgia. So it's kind of a, a middle ground for the conference. Anyway, so that's how I did that. Let me make sure it stays as... Yeah, I studied at the Peach Bowl. Cool. So those are all of the conference realignment things.
BCS bold tie-ins. I excuse me. I'm gonna leave everything as the same. And we're gonna go to the preseason. I'm kind of excited to face some new teams. Okay. First of all, I guess we'll st we're not gonna create prospects. Not gonna do that. I'm going to set up a recruiting board. I'm going to see what positions are of need right now. We need a center. Got it. We need a guard. And a fullback. Okay, centers, guards, and fullback. I'm just gonna skip ahead until I get all those kids on the board and then I'll take a look. Alright, I have gone through and I found all the guys. We didn't actually need center. I read it wrong. We need a quarterback. But, uh, go ahead and keep Joe Joey Burley on the board anyway. he I, He's a center, but he might as well try. Latrell Harris, minus seven overall. Still an option. Rudy Nelson, nice bonus. And Wayne Austin. Eric Warren, plus seven gem. Dang. Minus two. Minus five. Plus two. That's pretty good. Minus four. Minus one. Plus one. Minus two. Plus two. Plus two. Plus three. Uh oh. Who haven't I scouted? No gain. Minus two. Plus two. Minus four. And plus minus three. Okay. So I'm going to go and I'm gonna go ahead and show you the positions of need and who we've got. So Tim McGee. Strong safety out of a uh, Bayou Kane pipeline. Uh, this kid doesn't even know about us. Gonna try to get him. Oh, he's the number five strong safety. And he's a six. Wait, was he a bust? Yeah, minus four overall. Yeah, other, other teams might not really want him. And uh, Greg Smith, not available. We scouted him, but uh, can't put points into him this week, but uh, whatever. Ryan Brown. He had a plus three overall. We needed cornerbacks, and he's on the board now. Jacob Coleman on the board, um, 69 overall, haha. And Dwayne Hall. Most of these guys are from Pipelines. This guy, um, Tony Ferguson, shouldn't be too hard to get. We're his number two team. Number 40th defensive end, three star out of... Florida Marcus Howard also on his top five and Jacob Heath doesn't really know about us or not not super interested but we're gonna try to get him he is a 72 overall he had a plus two defensive end so center Joey Joey Burley um, doesn't have any interest Guard, we've got three guards on the board. Corey Va Von Vogue. Um, doesn't really know about us. Number four guard in the country. Number one guard in the country, JT Tompkins. He was a minus four overall. Mm. And Rico Leak, three star, number 25 guard. Doesn't really know about us. Tied ends, Mike Williams and Cole McAfee. 66 and 68 overall. Fullback, Eric Warren. 79 overall, number four fullback in the country. We would be lucky to get him, but Jonathan Martinez is more likely. He is out of Taylor, Texas. He's at number 13 at fullback. And quarterbacks, M M <clears throat> Michael Harrell. 68 overall, number eight quarterback in the country. Rudy Nelson. Number 13 quarterback in the country. He had a good gain. Yeah, plus four overall um, out of Shreveport. And Wayne Austin. Um, 
he would be our probably last option. But uh, we're on his board. So cool. We've got all of the players that we need. Um, maybe we'll redshirt some kids. At quarterback. Uh, we could redshirt Rogers. I'm gonna redshirt Sanders though. I think. I want to have him for a while. Um, McDonald. I could put a fresh or er, not a fresh fresh shirt. A red shirt on him. I probably won't. Quentin Mason or Rogers. I'll leave them alone. Both of these guys are juniors. I'll redshirt them. How are they juniors in 63 and 64 overall? That's bad. Tight end. Our freshman tight end is the best one we got. How is that possible? That's crazy. I'll retreat this kid. Left tackles. Can't retreat any of them. Got a lot of positions that we are in need of. Oh, wait. that mm, I'm not going to retreat him. Mm, oh, that senior. Campbell. Yeah, I want you next year. Wait, was that right end? No, that was a uh, left end. No, no, we're not redshirting you. You're gonna be, you're gonna be good this year. Phillips, uh, gonna redshirt him. Not gonna, gonna leave them alone. Leave them alone. Corners. Got a 75 overall corner. He's a junior. I'm gonna let him play. Freshman Fisher down there, gonna redshirt you. Johnson, I'll redshirt you. And Williams, I'll redshirt you. You're 57 overall, stupid. Punter, we can't, we can't redshirt him. This guy, Justin Horn, out of College Station, Texas, gig him. He's only 5'10", he's short. Uh, he's already six overall better than McCormick was last year. Maybe he he can be good. That's gonna be it for retreating though. Um, custom schedules. This is interesting. So we have an open, and then FCS East. I I don't really know why. I want to play Fresno State at one point though. It's weird. I just want to play Fresno State. Yeah, let's play them at home. And number three, Georgia. Eh, I don't know about that. I would rather play LSU because we kind of have to. Oh, we can't play LSU that week. What if we played? Let's not play UNT. Let's play an in-state rival, so some Louisiana team. We could play La Tech or Tulane. Who else is in Louisiana? I guess La Tech and Tulane are our only options. Um, we could play La Tech again. I wouldn't mind that. Uh, well, let me think about this. We could play Baylor or Charlotte, Cincinnati, Colorado State, Houston. I want to play someone kind of challenging. Maybe a ranked team. Like ranked 25. That's a and M. I'll play, play UAB. At UAB. <clears throat> and then FCS Southeast. I would rather play Alabama. Or not Alabama. Jeez. Uh, LSU. Can we not play LSU? No, we cannot. What if we played UAB that week? Um... Could we play a Fresno this that week? Okay. Um could we schedule a Fresno for this week? Wait, we're 
Where are they? C, D, E. Okay, can't play Fresno that week. What about... What about this week? Can we play Fresno this week? Florida... Nope. I'll be back with the schedule. Alright. So I realize we have four games... Um, four out-of-conference games now that we have the uh, two sides for the conference. So this is what I have chosen. Week one, we're playing at Fresno State. Week two... We'll play at home against number 19, UCF. And we have a bye week before we play number 24, UAB, at UAB. And then we have a bye week before our conference games start. But then in week 10, it was the only week that LSU was available. So we're going to play number 17, LSU, at LSU, week 10. So that's how our schedule is going to look gonna keep the changes and gonna start the season of course we won't play a game we'll play a game in a different episode but uh I want to see what overall are we because I'm sure we're not that much better anywhere I mean we do have a lot of seniors but, uh, okay, we're preseason all-conference. We have five all-conference kids. We found a bust, and we found a, we found a gem. Let's just see. We are an 81 overall now. Oh, boy. We have an 81 overall offense and an 82 overall defense. Wow. That's awesome. I have... We we were a 69 overall offense, uh, like a while ago. We we're like a 72 overall team, and now we're what an 80 81 overall. I think that's what that said. 81 overall. Yeah, wow. We can compete with teams now. <laughs> Maybe we could win some conference games. Um, I'm gonna take a look at this recruiting right now, just to see what's going on. Team needs, we got 12 team needs. Okay, what quarterback should we offer a scholarship? Gonna offer Michael Harris, Wayne Austin, and gonna offer them all scholarships. Who do we get the biggest bonus on? We get the biggest bonus on Wayne Austin. Um, let's see. I'm gonna put 500 into Rudy Nelson. And... He's a four-star, but he's only a 68 overall. He was a minus seven bust. So I think I'm just going to put 200 points into him. We got 6,500 to use. So yeah. Defensive ends. We have three on the board. Tony Ferguson. Going to offer him a scholarship. I don't think it should be too difficult to, to get him. He's from, yeah, Florida. Why would he be going to Bowling Green and Akron if he's from Florida? It's kind of weird. Um, Marcus Howard, gonna offer him a scholarship and put in, I'll put in 125, and then gonna go all in on Jacob Heath, it would be awesome to get him, he's a 3 star, but he's a 72 overall, and then Ryan Brown, gonna go all in on him and give him a scholarship, Jacob Coleman, giving him a scholarship, and I'll say 250 points, and Dwayne Hall will offer him a scholarship. Who's our best strong safety? This guy. Putting points into him. Offering that guy a scholarship. Offering that guy a scholarship. Um, Tim McGee. Gonna put in 250 points. And Greg Smith. I'll put in... I'll put in... Uh, 400. Okay. Quarterbacks. Covered them. Don't have any running backs. I'm gonna go all out on Eric Warren, but we're also going to offer Jonathan Martinez a scholarship, and we're gonna put in 150 points. Tight ends. I'm gonna offer Cole McAfee a scholarship. 
and Mike Williams a scholarship immediately. I will put I'm gonna put 100 points into Cole McAfee. Guard Corey Vogue or Rico Leak. I'm gonna put 500 into both of them. Yeah, that was maybe stupid, but uh, might as well try to get him. Middle linebacker. Already covered corners, strong safeties, kicker, punter. We don't have any athletes on the board. We got 500 more points to spend. Okay. Look at these quarterbacks some more. Um, I'll put in another another chunk into uh, Michael Harris. Um, fullbacks. I'll put in uh, some more to Jonathan Martinez. We get that up to 225. Tight ends. Cole McAfee. I'm gonna bump this up a bit. You're a 68 overall, right? Yeah, you're scouted as well. Um, I'll go 300 since we offered him a scholarship. We are we're in the number 10 spot for TJ Tompkins. I'll keep him on the board, but we're probably gonna get locked out soon. Joey Burley. I'll use 150 points on him. And that will be our recruiting. That is how that is going. Um, next game, we get to try out our new 71 overall team against Fresno State in Fresno, California. We're going all over the country this season. We're going to, like, Carolina. Well, I, I actually didn't see our out-of-conference um, or not our out of conference or in conference schedule. Who are we playing? We got UCF, so we're going to California, Florida, Alabama, Alabama, Georgia, Alabama, Georgia, Arkansas, Texas, Mississippi, Louisiana. Who are we playing from the east? Oh yeah, we're going to Louisiana. Uh, I guess Georgia Southern's in the east and South Alabama. I'm not playing any of the cool new teams. But we do have some great out-of-conference games uh, scheduled. So, until the next one, um, thanks for watching. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you really liked the video and you want to see more content for the ULM Warhawk Dynasty, I, um, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell for all my videos. Um... If you haven't seen all the ULM War Dynasty videos, go ahead and check them out. I should have a little notification link thing in the top right corner somewhere about now. It could have already happened. Maybe it'll happen in a minute or so. Um, I got some other series. If you watch them and you're interested, um, <laughs> show them some love, I guess, so I know to make some more. And really, that's it. I'm thinking about making a Discord server. But, uh, I think I'm going to set a goal of 50 subscribers before I hit, um, not before I hit, before I get a Discord server. Um, it's a long way away. But hopefully we hit that number. Until the next one, peace.